This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. One woman's killed and two others are hurt in a shooting in Over the Rhine early Saturday morning. Police say they found 35-year-old Brandy Turner dead just before 530 on East McMicken near Grant Park. Two other victims are at UC Medical Center but haven't been identified. And investigators haven't released any suspect information still at this time. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters issued a warning ahead of a rumored protest that would shut down highways nationwide. Social media posts call it the Patriot shutdown. It's calling on truckers to block traffic to protest COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Dieters warns anyone who attempts to shut down the highways in Hamilton County will face felony charges. It's not clear how organized this effort is, so we'll monitor, monitor it for you Monday on Good Morning Tri-State. We've had a pretty nice start to the weekend. Very fall like Taylor. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect first official weekend of fall, although it is getting rather chilly and we are starting off our Sunday with temperatures in the 40s, 47 for Cincinnati, 46 for Batavia. But if you're planning to head out for a walk or run for your Sunday to wrap up the weekend, we will see our temperatures quickly warming throughout the morning into the 60s. By 11 o'clock, it will be 64 degrees, but we are going to see sunny skies as we wrap up the weekend for your Sunday, a high of 76, a few clouds around, but overall going to be a comfortable day. But we do have some warmer temperatures on the way. We've got temperatures climbing into the 80s for both Monday and Tuesday before we cool down later in the week.